good morning boys and girls we are now on lesson 163 and we will continue our lesson about using the glossary and uh, a dictionary okay so let's review a dictionary is a book that contains a list of words and information about each word and a glossary is usually found in the back section of a book and gives extra information about the words in the book so remember the glossary that I told you about yesterday it's in back of a book all right and you also have your glossary that i sent home right okay good you will not need them but we i just wanted to make sure that you understood what they were okay now listen carefully for number one it says read the sentences color the circle next to the word that tells where you should look okay now the first question set says, you want to know what the word insist means. So if you want to know what it means, will you check the dictionary or the glossary? Mark your answer. Next, you need to know if the word ravine is a noun. Okay, will you look in the glossary or a dictionary? Mark your answer. You want to learn more about buffalo. Will you use a dictionary or a glossary? And the last one, you want to learn more about something you read in a book. Will you use a dictionary or a glossary? Okay, I hope you marked the right ones. Let's go over it one more time. Now the word insist, you want to learn or know about the um, meaning, right? So, will you use a dictionary or a glossary? The answer is, you will use a dictionary. Remember, a dictionary is a word that tells you all about words, their meanings, what they are, how to pronounce them, okay? Number two, ravine. You need to know if the word ravine is a noun. Will you use the dictionary or glossary? Yes, a dictionary. If you want to know more about the buffalo, will you use the dictionary or glossary? Yes, you will use the glossary. And then after reading a book, and you want to know more about something that you read in a book, you would of course use a glossary. Good job. Did you get all of them correct? Wonderful. Okay, number two. Read the sentences, draw a line between the subject and the predicate, underline the subject once and the verb twice. First sentence reads, Jaden's puppy chewed dad's new shoes. For me, it's easier for me to find the verb first, okay? So let's look for the verb, the action word action word here is chew so underline it twice okay and then it says subject where's the subject who did the action the puppy did it so all right next sentence Lillian and Avery planned a birthday party for their little sister so what is the verb Planned. And who's doing the planning? Lillian and Avery. Divide the sentence there. Pause the video and do the last two by yourself. Okay, I hope you marked your sentences. Let's see if you got them correct. Amelia dusted her bedroom carefully. Action word. The verb is dusted. Who's doing the dusting? Amelia. Divide the sentence. Okay. Logan's grandma and grandpa took Logan camping. What is the action word? Took. Who's doing it? Grandma and grandpa. Then divide it. I hope you got those correct. Let's go down to dictation. 
On dictation, you will see four blanks in the box. Okay? I am going to say a sentence. What you will write in the blank is the verb from each sentence. Let's do the first one. Jenny knew the Bible verse. Jenny knew the Bible verse. So what is the verb? Yes, it is. It is new. Okay. Second sentence. Mrs. Edmund planned a party. Mrs. Edmund planned a party. Write the verse in the next blank. Andrew brought cupcakes. Andrew brought cupcakes. Write it in the third blank. Remember, you're looking for the verb. Daniel read many books. Daniel read many books. What is the last verb? All right. Good job. I will see you tomorrow.